What is up my fellow munchies? It's your boy Mo here and I got one question for y'all. What about what about? Well, I guess you're gonna find out today. All right, what are what about? What about the, a little triangle desserts filled with cheese? Ugh, it happened again. Cupid got me right in the heart. And y'all know I'm a cheese addict. This isn't one of those desserts where a lot of people from other ethnicities would know about. So come on this journey, get that knowledge dropped on you, and let's get to working. What you're gonna need to make what about? Regular filo dough, bura, ricotta cheese, gutter, AKA simple syrup. And remember, we made this in the Kanafa video, so I'm gonna link it right about here. And last but not least, some sugar. So you're gonna take about half a stick of butter and you're gonna melt it down. You're gonna set your pan to medium and you're just gonna stir it occasionally. Do not turn this into brown butter. You're just gonna let that melt down. All right, so now that the butter's done, we got the phyllo dough rolled out. We got a little bit of disasterage going on here. It's okay, you can still work with this. Shafa Schneck is really the expert at this, not me. You can also do minis if you wanted to. Ooh, minis. Do you wanna do that? Yeah, let's do some minis. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start off by buttering our edges of the phyllo dough and also buttering our pan. In the meantime, so that the other, um, parts that we cut um, don't get dried out. You're gonna put a damp towel right over it. Um, I'm gonna do the first one, then Mo Munchies will be doing the next couple ones. Guys, help me, because I actually never did this before. So I guess if I could do it, y'all can too. All right, so for the pan, it's just gonna be a light drizzle or brush. And what's nice about this, you can customize the sweetness to however you like. So we're not gonna put as much sugar inside the actual filling because our simple syrup will go on top later on and that'll add its additional sweetness. Y'all see that? Oh, juice! And Picasso. And you always want to make sure you start off with a clean working surface. You don't want to have anything else on there previously that'll taint the water bot. Quarantine life hack. So when I was younger, we used to call them water bots because we thought we were cool. Wow, I married a winner. Yes, you did. Water water bots. Okay, so this is done. Normally with the larger section of filo dough, you'll fold it into three parts, one on top of the other part, um, and then stack it. But since we have the miniature version, we're just going to do um, where we fold it in half. And then we're going to take roughly about a little less than a tablespoon of ricotta. And you can use any kind of ricotta. We just, this is the one we happen to get. So you're just going to dollop that in there and take a little less than a teaspoon of sugar. That's a little too much actually. Let me just, just gonna spread that. Honestly, not even like, I would say like a quarter teaspoon. And then here. you're gonna take it, plop it like so, smush it a little bit down and keep going. You know what this reminds me of? Tell me. One of them paper footballs that people use. Oh yeah. <laughs> How we used to use it in school. So if you have a little excess like that, you can just fold it in. And also just a reminder, um, you're gonna want to preheat your oven to uh, 400 degrees. You also are gonna butter the water bath. I'm just gonna do it right now, but you can always do it when you have like everything spread out. So not too much, but we want that gold flaky, I guess, crust when it comes out the oven. And that's your mini water box. Put me in, coach. All right, guys. Whew, help me, help me. Are you ready? I'm born ready. We're gonna remove this. And now, a little water bath class. one this honestly the first time i've ever done this the good thing about this you can kind of see i learned this and 
not even a minute. So the good thing is y'all got the pause menu. I got the shuffle menu. I would definitely say this is a really easy dessert for beginners. Um, it does not take, no, no, no. No, babe, oh, hold it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, we need some practice to use them. Well, look, I mean, they got the pause feature at home. You know, I got the shop feature. Doesn't take, I, I honestly just want to say, prep time all together would take about like maybe 20 minutes. And then cook time, it'll vary, again, on your oven, between 15 to 20 minutes until you see it turn uh, golden brown. You don't want it to burn. So you're gonna just definitely keep an eye on it. All right, that's how they look with all that butter juice on it. We're gonna throw it in the oven about 15 to 20 minutes until you see it's golden brown. All right guys, so we have our gato here that we made from the Canafe Days, and we're gonna use this. We're gonna heat it up we're, while we're waiting for our water bath to bake. So like I said, you can either heat this up if you already have some in your fridge because it lasts a really long time, or you can go make you some real quick. It doesn't take too long. All right guys, we already got the gato in the background heating up. Now we're gonna get our garnish on. Got some pistachios here. Just gonna grind them up a little bit. I don't have my good mortal and pestle right now because I'm too lazy to bring it out and try to clean it up after. Ain't nobody got time for that. Look at your boy Mo Munchies out here looking like a whole pharmacist. Oh my God, look at these skills. All right, boys and girls, we got ourselves some water bath. Mini you, version. What you know about the mini water baths? Right, you want to get a little drizzling action on here. Y'all hear that sizzle? And after the garnish, there you go. What a bat. A very simplistic and amazing tasting dessert. All right, my fellow munchies, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because that really will help my channel grow. Obviously, the sun hasn't set, so I can't really eat this. It smells amazing. Very torturous right now, but if I could share the smell via Wi-Fi, I would. So, as always, until next time, munch on. Wait, what am I doing?